Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Taurus. What are they hiding from you? What are they not telling you? This is going to be for July 2022. And you could apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we're going to take a look at the person that you're dealing with or the person that is in your mind. We're going to see what this person is not telling you. And then we'll finish off the read to see if this person will come clean towards you. So um, apply this to your own unique situation. You could switch the roles if you want. Um, this could be with a new person, an old person, a current person. This could also be um, with anybody, a family member, uh, a friend, um, okay, a co-worker. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video. Leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Taurus people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, Taurus, let's get started. Tell me about Taurus here, the person that Taurus is dealing with or the person that is on Taurus's mind. What is this person not telling Taurus? What is this person hiding from Taurus? Sun and rising Venus signs for July 2022. One more. We have the magician here, Gemini Virgo. Could be dealing with the Gemini Virgo here. You might have Gemini Virgo in your chart. We have the Nine of Swords. We have someone here that seems incredibly stressed out because I feel like this person feels like they don't have what it takes to make something work with you here. Okay, let's see what else we have. We have the Four of Cups and the Devil. Capricorn energy. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. We have the Page of Cups and the Death card. So Scorpio energy, Cancer Scorpio with the Page of Cups. Seems like this person's not doing well. It, it, it seems like someone here is attached to something here or that, you know, this person suffers from like some sort of mental health issue here. An emotional imbalance, a mental imbalance here. Okay. You know, from what I could tell, it seems like with the Page of Cups here, this person doesn't have anything to give. It seems like this person's going through like a major transformation here or that this person wants to end this connection because it's too overwhelming for this individual. Tell me about this uh, magician here. We have the Six of Pentacles. Tell me about the uh, Nine of Swords and the Five of Pentacles here. Could be a situation that this person's struggling financially. Could be an indication, you know, there's a lack of equal give and take between you guys. And yeah, it seems like one person's giving more than the other. Okay, this person's definitely feeling like very alone. I feel like this person has abandonment issues or something like that. I feel like this person's always thinking the worst. Okay, even though there are good things happening in this person's life, this person will find ways to kind of ruin it or something like that. Okay, I I'm getting a bit of a Debbie Downer energy with this individual. Tell me about the pay, uh, not the page of cups, uh, the four of cups. So I have the four of cups here. All right, we have the Seven of Cups. Tell me about the Devil. We have the Strength card, Leo Energy. This could be an indication that this person's obsessed with you or very sexually attracted to you. But I feel like also this person's really confused and a bit lost. Yeah. Uh, so I feel like this person doesn't know what they're looking for. It's like they want that one cup from you. They want to offer you that cup of love, but... It's like, I feel, I feel like this person is like wondering if that's the right thing to do for them. Strength card, Leo energy, the page of cups. Why is the page of cups here? Why is this page of cups here? Page of swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the death card, and a ton of swords. Wow. You know, <clears throat> I mean, the, I, I feel like, I feel like this person is going through a lot. You know what? I really feel like this person's bad news. Yeah, I mean, they're not really communicating too much with you. 
If it is, it's very surfacey, or that they're giving you little breadcrumbs, okay? Uh, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, but, um, you know, I feel like this person doesn't trust you either, or that this person has a hard time trusting. So I feel like someone here is definitely doing a lot of spying on somebody. You know, going on the internet, okay, spying on someone, getting in as much information as possible here. Will this person come clean towards Taurus? Will this person come clean towards Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for July 2022. Will this person come clean towards Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for July 2022. We got the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles here. I think it's... I, I think... Regarding, regarding this person, you know, regarding relationships, it's just too overwhelming for this person. This person's not really equipped to be in a relationship right now, okay? Um, we got the Two of Cups and the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But Taurus, with the King of Pentacles here, I feel like you are. Yeah. I even, I, I'm even feeling like some of you guys have met your soulmate here. Yeah, I mean, you guys are already planning perhaps long term with this individual. Could be an indication that you're tired of this not working out or that it's moving too slowly. This could be an indication that you're making a decision to cut this out or something like that. But I feel like also for some of you guys, I feel like your guys are trying to give this person a chance. So I'm at the Nine of Wands here. Seems like this person has had a lot of suffering in their life, especially in their childhood. Okay, there could have been uh, verbal abuse, emotional abuse, okay? Tell me about the Nine of Wands, we have the Five of Wands, tell me about the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. Wow. I do feel like this person's in love with you. But I feel like this person deflects by creating arguments out of thin air. Tell me about the Two of Cups. Five of Swords. King of Pentacles in the Sun. You know, it, it, this is interesting because I'm getting a, like, a little back and forth energy with this individual. It seems like this person wants to fight for you. This person sees you as their happiness here. Okay? I mean, it could be an indication that, you know, you could be happy on your own too. That eventually, I feel like, you know, if nothing happens or nothing changes, you're going to put yourself first. So I feel like, you know, with, with that Justice card, there could be a deadline here for you. Like, it could be a situation, you know, if nothing happens by this time, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to bounce. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Justice. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune here. Seems like the Divine is at play here. The, div the, the Divine might be helping you or helping this other person see things for what it is. Could be some sort of lesson that needs to be learned here. It seems like the universe, your guides and your angels are stepping in here. There's going to be some sort of huge shift regarding your connection. I do feel like this person's in love with you. I do feel like this person does see a potential for a long-term commitment here. But it seems like this person's just really conflicted internally. Nine of Wands, I mean, this person could have gone through a lot of trauma here. Yeah. I mean, this person could be very needy. This person has abandonment issues. This person can't really be left alone. So I feel like you can't really go and do your own thing. I feel like you always have to constantly or consistently watch this person or something like that so that they don't do something um, bad. Yeah. So, um, so Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.